Hello, my name is Lubomir Tachny. I come from Slovakia. I'm a chess grandmaster for the last 30 years. And I would like to welcome you as an introduction uh, to the uh, repertoire DVD for Knight F3. Uh, the idea before, behind Knight F3 repertoire uh, is simply to offer an alternative uh, to the choices that are uh, somewhat limited after the first move uh, D4. I have on the position uh, knight f3, but if you play d4, uh, you are entering a, a wide a space of uh, openings, and uh, of course the choice is on black. He can decide uh, how he will defend against uh, one of the main opening uh, ideas. I mean, and, uh, d4 or e4 are the key moves, and well, there is no way around it. I mean, you have to open the game in the center. Uh, if you do knight f3, uh, you are leaving more options for white. First of all, after knight f3, in, co in comparison with uh, d4, uh, with knight f3 you are covering the square e5, so it's impossible for black to play uh, immediately uh, idea e7, e5, uh, which is the case uh, if you play c4, which is uh, uh, I would say complementary to the knight f3, uh, then uh, the, one of the main options for black is to play e5 immediately. Of course this is nothing that should be too scary for white. It's only interesting to note that the, uh, the move e4 uh, introduces uh, Sicilian defense for uh, black, uh, in the sense that well now black is playing as white and and uh, white uh, has the uh, c5 uh, which is similar to the or c4 which is similar to the c5 if you look at the position after e4 c5 it's exactly the same idea same position with uh, reverse colors uh, the big difference is that uh, now white can make the next move uh, if you play c4, e5, uh, you have uh, a Sicilian defense in uh, uh, reverse, and well, uh, now black actually, I mean, the guy that has played uh, c4 or c5, uh, has the uh, possibility to continue the game with the next move. Uh, there are many uh, symmetrical ideas uh, in the chess openings and uh, it should be no surprise for you, uh, especially if you work with programs like Chessbase, if you are searching for some opening uh, idea or some opening line, uh, very often you discover that the, the same position exists uh, with the uh, mirror uh, image with opposite colors and uh, this program was written in such a way that it will immediately show you also the games that are uh, completely symmetrical. The same applies uh, for the move knight f3, especially since uh, one of the key uh, answers after knight f3 for black is d5, especially if his repertoire is built around uh, king's uh, gambit. Uh, or uh, things like Slav, then he will play probably d5 in the first move. And if you look at this position and compare it with d4, knight f6, we have again the same symmetrical picture. After d4, knight f6, it's white's move, and well, white is obliged to search for initiative. If you are playing with uh, white uh, in the style of uh, reverse colors. Then after the d4, knight f6, or actually knight f3, d5, it's you as black, and now you are white, you have the choice of the next move. Uh, of course, the, the big difference between white and black uh, 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 at the initial position before the very first move, uh, the position is completely symmetrical. The only difference is uh, a half a move that you have at your disposal if you uh, happen to have white pieces. And uh, uh, the same applies for black. Uh, he would uh, very much love to do the same thing as you do with white pieces, but he is half a temper behind. So you can reverse the, the picture by playing uh, uh, 
to a degree black openings with white and you will have a, a, a additional bonus of having a, a spare tempo. For some people it's uh, quite unusual but uh, you should be aware that the, uh, well if we continue in uh, this way and analyze the, uh, the background behind the, uh, these ideas, if you continue with G3 which is uh, a celebrated rarity opening, very often black would do knight f6, bishop g2, c6, castling, and bishop g4. Actually, if you look more closely at the position, uh, black is actually playing the, the collar opening. He's uh, building his position around bishop g5, c3, d4, and so on. If you are white and, and you uh, set up on the position of, of collar, it's the same as, as what black is doing in this case. So, uh, it's not the case only at the very beginning uh, when you play the first uh, two moves of two half moves, uh, you can find uh, uh, analogies and symmetries in many, many openings and the whole complexes of openings. Uh, it's uh, worth uh, uh, to note that uh, one of the, the big discoveries for um, uh, White was the possibility to play a, a complete uh, black opening in case, for instance, like this. Knight c6, Blake is aggressively trying to occupy the center. A white is content to play just like if he were black, and in this case, he's playing simply uh, King's Indian defense only with a spare tempo. So, this is also possible, completely legal, and of course, in case you have an extra tempo, even in the position where you are nominally, so to speak, black, despite having white pieces, uh, you should uh, certainly uh, not have any problems, and on the contrary, uh, you may try to play actively and uh, prove that even with black, if uh, the roles are reversed and you have a spare tempo in many positions that are, so to speak, defensive, uh, you can play for initiative and even for win. Uh, on top of everything, knight f3 offers you the chance to avoid some uh, uh, unpleasant uh, surprises in the opening, especially if you consider that these days people after d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, d5, for instance, knight f3, would play aggressively bishop b4 and well, openings that are uh, like uh, Vienna uh, opening or uh, uh, all kinds of uh, modern uh, Queen's uh, uh, Gambit openings where um, after Bishop b4 Black will play very quickly c5 and he will uh, shamelessly try to uh, grab initiative despite uh, having uh, to play with black pieces. This is not the only opening where uh, you should know quite a lot of theory and you should be well aware of uh, intricacies even though as wide of course, uh, in higher sense, uh, it's unlikely that you will meet uh, problems, but it's enough that uh, if you don't feel confident in, in playing a semi-defensive uh, semi uh, way in the opening, it's much better to play uh, uh, a quiet uh, opening where the contact of peace is not, is not so immediate, and uh, you can postpone the clash with your opponent for the uh, later date. Uh, this is the case after knight f3, because in many cases, uh, white, say, after knight f6, would play g3 and uh, uh, try to play a fianchetta position, which is uh, uh, very solid, uh, very good opening. Uh, the bishop on g2 uh, plays a big role in many, many openings. Just remember Catalan or uh, King's Indian with Bishop G2 and so on, and uh, it's safe, uh, it's uh, peaceful, and also positionally extremely sound, and uh, the variations where you have to know quite a lot of theory, where the pieces are coming into contact uh, from the first few moves, are uh, not your concern anymore. You have to learn a little bit about uh, uh, different openings from the point of, of main ideas, and you can confidently come to the game and play uh, solid chess uh, and uh, very sound chess without having to spend too much time on opening theory. Uh, 
these are the advantages of knight f3 and uh, to be honest uh, even uh, many strong grandmasters are uh, regularly regularly playing knight f3 in the first move and uh, they are trying to uh, take a little bit of pause from the the main lines of uh, many opening uh, uh, ideas and many opening uh, <coughs> vistas because well the theory is moving uh, very quickly forward and it's next to impossible to follow all uh, the paths. So especially if you are playing a stronger opponent, knight f3 and more peaceful openings are uh, very suitable and they improve your chances of being successful in the particular game or the whole tournament.